Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing a Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah, for giving me some time with this Tacoma. This particular one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions, just ask for Easton. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 278 horsepower and then 317 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see very muscular with the design. And of course we've got the hood scoop there at the top, which is a TRD sport thing. And then popping down below with the headlight bezel being mostly blacked out, it gives it to come a much sportier look. You can see the grill is all blacked out except the Toyota logo, it's got chrome. We got fog lights here at the bottom and then being an on-road to come, we do have a big air dam at the bottom. But putting it all together, especially with that hood scoop and the contrast between the white and the black, this truck looks really cool from the front. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear. You can see here with the wheels, you got the silver with the metallic gray TRD there in the center. And you got these nice body painted fender flares here on the side. You can see Tacoma there on the side as well. And then notice the contrast between the black and the white throughout on the truck. Now you can't really see it, but just like other new Tacomas, we do have a multi-link setup in the back. And then here's your full side view with the TRD Sport. And you can see the TRD Sport sticker there in the back. Now take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the function to lower down the tailgate and yeah. And then popping into the bed, you can see this one has the mat here from the factory. This also has the composite bed as well. And then we've got some little like USB 12 volt action in there. We have an outlet on the other side. We got LED lights as well. So lots of practicality built in. And then I'm not sure if this one has the auto raise. Yes, it does. <laughs> You just have to like hit it with your knee and it'll pop up. And speaking of cool features, this lowers down the tailgate and they have another one on the other side. Uh, but yeah, you've got the taillights that are just one less light compared to the Tundra. You've got parking sensors here at the bottom, body painted bumper. And so yeah, putting it all together, seeing this TRD Sport makes me like the Tacoma a bit more. Now take a look at the door panel here in the back. More basic with the material use, uh, but it does say TRD right there, which is pretty cool. And then you got storage down below. Really nice looking seats. You can see perforated all down the center portion. And then you've got storage underneath the seat as well. And you've got this right here. You connect to the top to hold the seat up. So I got some cup holders here in the back. Got a little charging ports and everything down below. Um, leg room back here. I mean, pretty normal for a mid-size pickup truck. Headroom, same thing. Now take a look at the front door panel. We've got padding here. You're gonna rest your arm. You can see TRD right there. Got all of our window controls, mirror adjustments as well. I like the door handle, it's very chunky. Blind spot ring with the mirrors. And then let's see what payload is on this one. 1,200 pounds, that's solid. You can see the front seat here. Again, perforated all down the center portion. Power adjustments on the side. You get fancy pedals with this TRD Sport. And you can see for the cargo light and then to add auxiliary items to the Tacoma, which is another nice feature. That's for your stability control, turn the outlet, tailgate raise and lower as well. Now take a look at the steering wheel you can see here with the trim at the top and at the bottom. Kind of has like a cowhide texture and then perforated on either side. You've got all your practical controls on the front for like your cruise control, controls with center stack, volume, voice command controls, all that. I mean, this is the same steering wheel that's in the Tundra. And then you get regular stocks here on the back. Now take a look at the gauge cluster, fully digital. And we can scroll through to see different bits of information on the truck here with the gauge cluster. It's cool, <laughs> all the different menus that you have. I don't know, I think that that's fun. And then we do have some drive modes here. It'll change kind of how things look. Again, being the TRD Sport, uh, you're not gonna have a ton of different modes to go through uh, because again, it's more of an on-road truck rather than an off-road truck. Now this has the 360 camera system again from the new Tundra. Got the cool exterior shot, that's fun. Um, but yeah, really good resolution with the camera system. Huge screen, so the view is great as well. And then as for the rest of the infotainment screen, response time, as you can see, is quick. So easy to use. 
And I like how the stop start button, TRD there, I think that's cool. Got some vents here, physical button for the volume control. Got dual zone climate with this as well. Heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel. And again, all the switches and everything just give it a cooler feel, kind of rugged, right? And then we got wireless phone charging pads, more charging ports with the USBs. We got the TRD shifter with this. Of course, got the grab handle here on the side. Got your parking brake here with your auto hold, your drive line select, so two speed transfer case, tow haul mode, and then you can see the trailer backup assist and then the camera. We've got some cup holders here, decent storage, nice padding on the center console. And I love how it says Tacoma there, that's cool. Storage above, Let's see the glove box. And then we do have a camera rear view mirror uh, center up top with this, and then power sliding rear window. Now here's a quick look at the window sticker for the TRD Sports. Um, you guys can see the standard equipment and then TRD Sport Premium package. So this gives you all the upgrades this has with the interior. Basically it looks like, so let's just see, leather trim steering wheel. Yeah, so all the, so basically full loaded interior with that. Anyways, 53,105 is the total MSRP on this TRD Sport. Let's see how it drives. Well, it's sucked by visibility before you set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both mirrors do a blind spot Through the rest of the rear. And let us set off on the TRD Sport. So we're gonna rename this channel to Tacoma Reviews, just kidding. But I, I do plan on reviewing quite a few Tacomas in the near future because, well, I wanna get as many of these new packages as I can to see which flavor of new Tacoma is the best. I will say so far, uh, so I reviewed the, I had that limited, uh, that was a pre-production truck. And I will say this full production TRD Sport is way, way nicer than that pre-production truck that I had. I was a little bit concerned. I was like, ah, Toyota's build quality slipped. Now this is a lot better with the build quality and everything compared to that pre-production. That pre-production was very pre-production if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I, I reviewed the SR5 uh, and then we've got this and then I reviewed that limited. And so... So far, I like this one the most. I think it looks the best out of the three. And this basically has all the same features as the Limited, but it looks cool. So I don't think Toyota's gonna sell a lot of those Limiteds, to be frank. I think that they're probably, like in, if someone wants like a loaded up interior on the Tacoma, I think they're just gonna get the Sport here with the premium package because again, it just, it looks a lot better. But I wonder how many people are just gonna rip that air dam right off as soon as they get the truck. <laughs> because uh, I understand the uh, aerodynamic benefits of it, but you know, it looks kind of interesting. Uh, so in terms of the ride, it's, you know, pretty typical of a midsize pickup truck. So it's, you know, shorter wheelbase, so not as like comfy and floaty as what you get with like a full-size pickup truck. But I mean, it's very daily drivable. Seat comfort's also good. I like these new seats a lot. Um, that's one of the things that I like about the new Tacoma over the old one is uh, you feel like you have more headroom in the new Tacoma because of where the seat, how the seat is placed. And then the seat's just way more comfortable in the new Tacoma. I think guess the other thing is I like this, this new steering wheel quite a bit. But I, I will say, I feel like we did get a little bit of downgrade on the door panel because there's less soft touch material in the door panel as before not bad i mean it's just practical right where you rest your arm and i guess this armrest is better to easier to use than the previous version because the previous version kind of that slope but anyways torque yeah that's that's one, that's like the biggest benefit of this new tacoma is you have so much torque and with the eight-speed automatic versus the six-speed in the old one you don't have the gear hunting like uh, the example that I gave a lot of people because I do a lot of driving here is um, going over the crest of the point of the mountain on the interstate, right? That's a high speed road. I mean, uh, speed limits, I think like 70 miles an hour. Um, so you're going, you know, up a climb, 70 miles an hour. And the, you know, previous gen Tacoma constantly gear hunting when you're going over the point of the mountain. Whereas with this, not at all. It's just, it handles it perfectly fine, doesn't even struggle. So yeah, huge improvement there in terms of the drivability with it. So to sum things up with this TRD Sport, um, although the hood scoop does look a little bit dorky, it kind of has that kind of tacked on appearance bit, uh, which it probably just is, right? <laughs> it, it's, it's a cool looking truck, it drives well. And I think that in terms of loaded up Tacomas, 
I think this will probably be the one to get. I mean, this or a, um, I'll have to see what the TRD off-road is like. But uh, it looks like Toyota's doing a similar thing as what they did with the Tundra, where basically the pricing is very similar with all the different packages. And so the reason why you choose one package over another is more so about the style that you like more. And so um, I'll see I'll see what the TRD off-road is like, but my guess is it's probably going to look very similar like this in inside but it's obviously going to have the off-road capability so what you'll what we'll probably see is toy's going to sell a ton of trd off-roads and then the trd sports probably going to be the second and then trd pros they would sell more of them if they made more but toy always limits production on that and then i think the limited and the sr5 they'll sell those to people that want a more affordable truck for the sr5 and then the limited i just don't i don't know i just don't think people are really going to care about that package but let me know your thoughts on the different packages and let me know what you guys think about this TRD Sport.